What's up? It's your boy Courtney back here with your guitar interpretations. And today we are doing Love is Weird by Julia Michaels. So we're gonna play this with basic chords. Just make sure your guitar is a set of tuning. We have our carry ball on fret number two. Right, so the chords are as follows. So we have a verse which is going from C, right, which is open, three, two, open, one, open, to E minor. Is open to two open 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 and then we go to a minor which is open open two two one open and then lastly we have a G which is three two open 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 three okay so that's your verse now the beginner player is going to be playing C to E minor and then a minor Player can play so these are the same chords it's just the plucking is different so for C we're plucking five three two one okay and then so that's C five three two one and then we go to E minor for E minor we're plucking six five four three and then for A minor five four three two and then for G, it's six, four, three, two. All right, so C. Right, and then the advanced player is going to be playing it exactly as it sounds on the song, which is. Right, so we're basically using strings five and one on C, and you're just. Right, alternating your fingers and you can mute that to make it sound more accurate so and then you go to E minor and now you're using six and four All right so and then for A minor that's five and two and then for G it's six and two so C to E minor Let's get into the chorus. Right, the love is weird. So here we're all gonna strum the song. Whether you're playing it for advanced, intermediate, or beginner, you're gonna have to strum the chorus, right? Love is weird. So we have A to C and then E minor to A minor. Love is weird. So that's A to C. Na, 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 na. E minor to A minor. The third time, C, E minor, and then A minor, and then the last time, which is the fourth time. And you're done. Okay? So the last time is just F to C, and then you're already back to. Which is going. So I guess that's basically it. The strumming pattern for the chorus is you really have to mute this one. So palm on your strings and then so down 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 down
I guess the low three strings, right? I don't know whether to call them the top or the bottom strings, but yeah, these strings, the bass strings, right? The four of them or the three of them. That's what you're targeting. You're not really trying to get a full strum. So F is one, three, three, two, one, one. I already showed you C, I already showed you E minor, and I already showed you A minor, right? So that's if you can also play F minor, which is one open, three, two, one open. So that's F. right. Let's just scroll the song to see if we have a chord progression change for the bridge. Okay, so I think we do. Uh, okay, so second verse, second chorus. What? Okay, so the second course is the same as the first one. Let's fast forward from that. Okay, and that's the end of the song. So that's the whole song. Do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Leave a like and share the video if it helped you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.